Hello, uh, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to the first episode of a brand new Let's Play. This is Tell Me Why. This is what the game is called. And I am coming into it really liking the graphics. I hope the level of the, the graphics looks as good as it does now. Admittedly, it might not look as good on uh, YouTube as it looks on my screen right now. I don't know. So, as I'm going into this blind. Uh, well, obviously, I can see, you know, just uh, haven't played this game before. So this game was created by Don't Nod, who created um, Life is Strange. Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Farweed's not a great name, is it? But it's alright, just... Fireweed, it's kind of a strange combination of words, I guess.
probably going to get demonetized. Okay, first, I'm going to find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm going to drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Okay. Control is virtual. Thank you. Uh, might be easier, actually, if I don't... If I use a... Don't use a controller for this. So I'm figuring things out as I go along. Everything's fine. So we need to find the keys to the old house, but first we're going to look at stuff. Oh right, I stashed them down here. Oh, that was quick. So that's where you've been hiding. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. I don't think you're ready to go. I think you're okay to look at this grave wizard poster. One more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? get invested in the lives of real people? Oh, I see, right. Uh, you press Q if you want to read something that... Well, I you can really just see it from where you are, to be honest. I'm not sure you really need to press Q, but... Oh. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Now, I'm going to try not to deliberately turn on any music that I don't need, which I apologise for, because the music in Don't Know Games is normally quite good, but I also, being demonetised, I don't mind that much. Some countries not being able to see the game bothers me. I need to bring this with me to Juno. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. Okay, guess there's nothing to say about that. I do find the movements a bit jerky here. Can't believe we're gonna go back to that house. <sighs> At least I'll have Tyler. So that's not that interesting. Sorry. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. It's hard to tell whether or not she's going to say anything interesting. Michael and Tyler are so going to hit it off. So if I show off anything boring, I'm sorry. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. 
He's probably still better at it than I am. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. I could look at this artwork all day. Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. All right, well, I suppose we've got all of the info about her that, that we're going to get here. So, I guess it's time to um, leave, I suppose. I need to find the door that I was at before. But I don't know if I'm going to examine absolutely everything, but there is a good chance that I am. If it bores you, I'm sorry, but this sort of thing... Uh, Ellie, she's going to be so awkward. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard for me to cut out, like, in ten seconds of someone looking at something. Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after ten years of swank TV. This is more like letter territory. Whatever, you thank me when you're 90 and machines have taken over, and you still have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward while I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your man mantis? I bet they're going to miss you. Gah! I eat... Uh, it's going to be, it does she talk like this, because if so, yes, it is going to be awkward. Gah. Gah, I say. I got my child's surprise, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can save the snark when you see me ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the matches... Let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Love you, Alison. Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. I know I'm bad at this, but just want to say, you've been the best counsellor and at risk yet redeemable youth, haha, uh -huh. could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside, uh, far weed. Survivor is a bowing. Thanks, man. Tyler. Ah! That was just disturbing. Um, he's being taken testosterone. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Well, who won't want pictures of different types of fish on their wall? Denali, I need to get my application ready for next summer. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Ah, okay. He's trans. Fair enough. Cool. You know, um, I'm fine with that. Bye, Herbert. Wonder if I'm assuming he is the correct pronoun. Um, we'll see. 
Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Oh, look at that out the window. Um, uh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready no, to No, you're not. For starters, I have to first talk about outside the window. I don't know how this looks on YouTube, but seriously, I think that looks amazing. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. I know most of these by heart at this point. <sighs> Bombed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Been listening to this on a loop lately. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. Yeah, we have tomorrow's because that's how time works. Yeah, take that, bear. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. Are we planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. I mean, seriously, it seems that... Um, oh, I've gone on about it being called Farweed enough. So yeah, you make your choices in this game. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, 
Poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. Well, um, let's be honest here. Number one, the bear being shot was only shot with a dart that made it fall asleep, basically. And number two, it. why are you lecturing me about this game? Why am I suddenly getting a... Don't shoot bears lecture. And not everyone lives in Alaska. Anyway. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number? You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. What about you? Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey, at least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. So I'm gonna continue... Is that smoke coming so out I'm of So I'm gonna continue until we get to the next point where it automatically saves, because I don't think I can save part way through. Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge. I'm gonna bet eyes. right now that we'll be going into that house at some point. You think people talk about our house this way? Probably. If so, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. 
Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please. I'm sorry, but this is just... Uh, I'm gonna try not to criticize the game too heavily. Keep in mind this is the first time I'm playing. But this, this is just bad writing. Uh, it's pretty clear that the way they're talking isn't the way real people would talk. It's... The, the talking's designed so they can tell each other what the audience needs to know about what's been going on in their lives but the thing is that both of these people already know what they're telling each other so why are they telling each other this i hope what i just said made sense I suppose i shouldn't expect too much from the people who wrote the dialogue for life is strange for me he can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Maybe it was a bad. Did you hear that? like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Okay, it's saved and this episode has been going on for a while. So... I will see you next time.